Hello, thank you for joining me on this class. The topic that we are considering today is differentiation from first principle. The process of finding the derivative of a function is called differentiation. And the general expression for the derivative of any function, say y equal to f of x, is given by dy dx equal to limits as delta x tends to zero of f of x plus delta x minus f of x all over delta x. So that's the expression that will be used to find the derivative of a function y. Okay, now let's take an example. Example 1 is to find the derivative of y equal to x cubed by the first principle. Now, let's solve that. We are going to say, let y be equal to f of x. Let y be equal to f of x. So, that means f of x will be equal to x cubed, which is the value of y. And here we have the expression for the derivative. So we will substitute the value for f of x into this expression. So our f of x is given as y equal to x cubed. So that's what we are going to substitute into the expression for the derivative. So we will have here, here is x cubed, that is f of x. So we will have dy dx is equal to limit of x plus delta x all raised to power 3 minus x cubed over delta x as delta x tends to zero. So the next thing to do is to find an expression for x plus delta x raised to power 3. That is, we are going to expand it. And um, I'm going to leave that expansion for you as an exercise. I'm sure you can expand x plus delta x raised to the power 3. So, the expansion will give us x cubed plus 3x squared delta x plus 3x into delta x squared plus delta x cubed. And this is a minus, del minus x cubed here from up here is still the same minus x cubed that we have there so we move on um, um, we are going to see that we are going to do this x cubed minus x cubed you see we have we have x cubed here here we have x cubed and we have here minus x cubed. So x cubed minus x cubed will be equal to zero and we'll be left with the expression here. 3x squared plus delta x plus 3x into delta x squared plus delta x all raised to the power 3. So what we're going to do is that we're going to factorize delta x out of this expression. We see that each of the terms on the numerator have delta x. So we'll factorize it out. That will be limits as delta x tends to 0 of delta x into 3x squared plus 3x times delta x plus delta x all squared 
all divided by delta x. Now you can see that the delta x on the denominator will cancel the delta x on the numerator. And we will have limits as delta x tends to 0 of 3x squared plus 3x into delta x plus delta x all squared all divided by 1. We have 1 on the denominator now. So, so uh, the next thing is um, to find the limits as delta x tends to 0. Now, if delta x tends to 0, if delta x approaches 0, here we will have 0 here, and here we will also have 0, and we will be left with only 3x squared on the numerator. 3x squared will be left on the numerator all over 1. So that is equal to 3x squared over 1. So that means that uh, dy dx is equal to 3x squared. That's our derivative. Okay, I hope you understood what we did there. Now, to make it clearer, we are going to solve another example. Example 2 is to find the derivative of y equal to 1 over x from first principle. Now, solution. This is our expression for the derivative of y. dy dx is equal to limit as delta x tends to 0 of f of x plus delta x minus f of x all divided by delta x. So what to do next is that we will substitute the value of the function f of x. So our f of x is equal to 1 over x. So we will substitute into this expression here. In the next line, we will have um, dy dx is equal to limits as delta x tends to 0 of 1 over x plus delta x minus 1 over x, which is our f of x, all divided by no, this is uh, no, there's no equal sign there. All divided by delta x. So that's what we have there when we substitute. And um, after substituting, we will find. Okay, we have example two here. Find from the first principle the derivative of y equal to 1 over x. So we are going to differentiate y equal to 1 over x from first principle. Now let's see the solution. Here we have the expression for finding the derivative of a function y. And it's given as dy dx equal to limits as delta x tends to 0 of f of x plus delta x minus f of x all over delta x. So what we are going to do here is that we will substitute the value of our given function into this expression. Our function is 1 over x. So we'll substitute into this expression. So that will be, that will be dy dx is equal to limits as delta x tends to 0 of 1 over x plus delta x minus 1 over x all divided by delta x. Now what are we going to do next? We will, we will do this. Um, we are going to simplify the numerator. We see that we have two fractions on the numerator. 
we will simplify them by finding their LCM. The LCM will be the product of the two denominators, that is x into x plus delta x, that will give us the LCM. So we'll go to the next line. Next line we have um, dy dx is equal to limits as delta x tends to zero of x minus x plus delta x all over x into x plus delta x all divided by delta x so we can see here that if we open up the brackets up here the signs will change we will have x minus x minus delta x so x minus x will go to zero and we'll be left with minus delta x on top. So this is it. We have minus delta x all over x squared plus x delta x. That's what we have on the numerator. So we can see here that we are dividing by delta x. We are dividing by delta x. And delta x is also on the numerator. So the two expressions will cancel out. This delta x on top is going to cancel out delta x below. And if we cancel out, we will have limits as delta x tends to zero of minus... 1 over x squared plus x delta x. We can put the minus sign outside the limits or in front of the limit. So we can now evaluate the limits. If we evaluate the limits, delta x will go to 0. And this term here, x plus delta x, will go to 0 because delta x tends to 0. So if this becomes zero if x delta x becomes zero we will have one minus one over x squared left so that means our derivative dy dx is equal to minus one over x squared okay i hope you understood what we did so far now let's take let's try this as an exercise let's try this on our own find the derivative of y equal to x squared from the first principle all right try that as your exercise thank you for watching this video please don't forget to like and share and also subscribe to this channel thanks